Pulele Tutti Jones is joining us now in studio just to discuss more on the crime stats. Of course, Pule, earlier today you were following that briefing mm -hmm. by the police minister, Peggy Klele, and the national police commissioner, Fani uh, Masimula. And you spoke to Fani Masimula afterwards, the national police commissioner, after the briefing, and he had a lot to say as well about the fight against illegal mining. Definitely. Um, as far as we understand, the police are ensuring that they actually start, you know, putting in place these intensified operations, such as one of them being Operation Chanela, which focuses on tackling crime as well, which has seen about 99,000 suspects being arrested, of course, who allegedly have been involved in numerous crimes such as house robberies, carrying or being in possession of illegal firearms, being illegal uh, minors as well, and who are currently in custody. The Minister of Police, Begit Gale, has welcomed this. And now we understand that there's a, another operation focusing on illegal mining, which started on Tuesday and is expected to last for about three years focusing on communities living around these disused mines, not only in Gauteng, but in the Free State, in the Northern Cape, and in Mpumalanga as well. Just this week from Tuesday to Friday, about 290 suspects who are believed to be operating in these uh, illegal activities, particularly illegal mining, have been arrested and are also in custody. While experts have welcomed this slight decrease, which they say is encouraging, the police believe that more boots are needed on the ground to combat this crime. Let's take a listen to what the National Commissioner had to say earlier on. Since April, the 1st of April last year to the 31st of March this year, we have arrested 1,199, uh, you call them Zamazamas, of which uh, it was a mixture of Zimbabweans, Mozambicans and Lesotho's, but of course there were. Out of those, there were 100 South Africans. Mm. Uh, this uh, is from the whole of gold fields in Free State, in Northwest, uh, as well as your Northern Cape, including Houting. We haven't stopped fighting the crime on Zamazamas. Uh, since the problem of River Lee have, uh, resurfaced, we also in that area arrested more than 290 within a week. Zamazamas, and we confiscated a lot of firearms including ammunition and of course uh, the equipment that they use pendukas and the gold bearing soil uh, and then thereafter we launch within chanela operation we added a uh, lake to deal with zamazama solidly across the country mm. She says the Chanel operation is going to deal with Zamazama solidly across the country. One aspect of fighting crime involves the community. Yes. And we are told that now and again, and, uh, and they, we've got this community policing forum. They play a role. Mm. What did the commissioner say about that? Me and you were just chatting about, you know, how there's been complaints around police officials who are labeled to be rogue, who are not working against um, fighting crime, but who are internally, uh, you know, helping criminals actually execute their crimes. I spoke to one member who's part of the policing forum in Rivoli just about a week ago, and he was complaining about how some of the police officials were actually or allegedly soliciting bribes from some of the kingpins who are working with the illegal miners as well. And now and again, when we go to these police imbezos, these are the same allegations that come up from community members who want better policing. But one main challenge here is around the safety of these community uh, police officers who are under these forums as well. They're complaining that there hasn't been much resources given out by SAPS. As much as they want to do you know, the goodwill of fighting for their community, if they're facing head-on criminals, they do not have the resources to fight back. And this is one concern which um, the SAPS says they're looking into. I believe there was a budget that is uh, supposed to ensure that their resources are given to these community members who are part of these uh, policing forums because they play a vital, crucial role in terms of being whistleblowers, the intelligentsia of the police officials, and of course assisting where they can to fight crime. But let's take a listen to what the National Commissioner had to say once again regarding this. Yeah, my, my call is that uh, where communities do go out, especially your patrollers, uh, they shouldn't go out without informing the police which area are they going to work. It is important that 
the local police know where the patrollers will be so that in case there is a uh, call up then the police can go out and assist them uh, we work with the community police uh, com community policing forum structures and uh, of course this year for the first time in terms of assisting them we made budget available to the tune of 70 million rand which has been dispersed to the provinces to assist them in, 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 in buying things like your torches, your reflectors, and so on, and of course, airtime and phones. So that is the, how far we go to assist them. And uh, we, we know that there are various uh, groupings, your neighborhood watches and other forms, but what we are saying is, let's not go out there, work alone. Make sure that wherever you are involved in patrolling, the local police are aware as to where you are so that they can respond in, in case you are in trouble. National Police Commissioner Fanny Masimula.